Hey guys, welcome to an interesting video on Wild Rift. So today we're back with a Caitlyn supplementary guide, and today we're going to be taking a look at the energized build on Caitlyn. So basically, the build is pretty straightforward. Let's just jump straight into it. So we're going to start off with a blood, not blood thruster, uh, with the gluttonous grease as usual, uh, which gives us 35 AD as well as 7% omnivamp. So from my last updated Caitlyn Complete Guide, the main change that has happened here is you are swapping out Bloodthirster instead going for Storm Razor. So with Storm Razor, um, you're going to get a little bit less stats than Bloodthirster, a little bit less AD, but you get, um, you know, of course, the 20% attack speed. And you also, of course, get the passive, which allows you to deal bonus magic damage and slow enemies for um, 75% for 0 0.75 seconds, which was buffed. Uh, you know, at this point, quite a number of patches ago, but um, not many people are, are building Storm Razor at all. And I think Caitlyn is probably the only ADC that can really make very good use of Storm Razor, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, so we go into our IE next, uh, which of course does give you the health penalty, but you get a lot of increased crit damage as well as, uh, of course, the AD and crit. And then our next energized item, which is the Blaster, of course gives you that bonus attack range and static shift passive, as well as giving you attack speed and crit rate. You can swap the order around and go for IE later as well if you so choose. And of course we have the Mole Reminder for the Armor Pen as well as the Grievous Wounds. And finally, GA for the Revive or other defensive items like Maw or um, Sterix Gauge, things like that. For the runes, um, you know, Lethal Tempo, you could go for... Um, some other runes as well. You could go for like press the attack for, um, you know, if you have a very dominant lane. Let's say you're playing against a, uh, let's say you're playing against, you know, uh, a champ, uh, like you know, bot lane that you can bully. Let's say, um, you know, you're against a, uh, let's say an Alistar and a Nila. Let's say because Nila can't do anything against you, Alistar can't really do very much against you as well. So you can just blast them for free. This could be good. Um, Fleet Footwork also a very strong um, lane in. Um, rune in lane um so that's an option as well but um i i like lethal temple the best it's the most consistent um uh, brutal of course because you do have um you do auto attack a lot so you can proc this very often giant slayer generally the best here of course you also do have the option of coup de gras and then we of course have alacrity here bloodline is also a possibility and then we have bone plating or hex splash if you prefer that and for the spells, we go for Flash all the time and Ghost majority of the time because you're normally very far away anyway and you can use Ghost to get uh, you know, get in and out fights, kite around, run and run around, you know, things like that. But Exhaust is also an option if you're playing into a lot of Assassins. Alright, so with all that said, let's talk about the gameplay. Alright, so now we're jumping into our gameplay itself. So of course, we're still rocking the, the Battle Academia. Um, Caitlyn skin that came out pretty recently. Uh, of course, it is my favorite Caitlyn skin. I've been waiting for a ton, uh, for a ton of time for it to come out on Wild Rift, and you know we've played quite a number of games on the channel with the skin already. I don't know why I'm talking about the skin though, because uh, we should be talking about what uh, kind of support Caitlyn likes. Well, honestly, Caitlyn's kind of okay with any support. Honestly, she is not that support dependent. Of course, you have the classic combo of Lux Caitlyn or Morgana Caitlyn, but really, she's okay to have like uh, any kind of melee support to engage for her so she can kill people or you know you could have an enchanter as well. Um, speaking of engage, Leona goes in here. Unfortunately I get hooked by Pike, ignited and electrocuted and I try my best to flash to the bush to try to get out of vision but Pike does eventually manage to kill me. Um, so that's a little bit uh, unfortunate. Honestly I kind of underestimated Pike's damage there. I thought that you know he was a free kill as well but I didn't uh, expect the ignite and electrocute which I should have really taken note of in the loading screen so that was definitely my mistake. But it's a really exciting lane. So here Leona goes in again on Pike. I'm just, you know, trying to follow up. Uh, I'm tanking a little bit of minion aggro though. So yeah, enchanters are um, good to buff you and especially if they can poke, like, you know, um, champions like Nami for example, work very well because they can poke uh, people in the in the early game. That's really good. Um, you know, of course, engagers like Leona work really well as well. So here we're against Anila, and basically Caitlyn is the worst possible matchup for Anila. Uh, unfortunately though, I have to run and flash away because uh, my Leona is with me, so I'm in a 1v2 and uh, I do end up dying here. Uh, but Leona does get the trade and the two supports are having, uh, you know, basically a, a fight that is uh, nothing is really happening uh, for now. Ari is on the rotation though, so Leona is trying to waste as much time as she can. And there we go, Ari comes in. Um, picks up the free kill with the ignite and yeah so 
Caitlyn is the worst matchup for Nila because Caitlyn, of course, is very lane dominant and Nila is melee. So, um, basically, Caitlyn versus Nila is really literally a free lane. The only reason why we are not destroying them is just because of the pike, honestly, and also some missed comms. Like the second death that we had was was really because um, you know Leona was wasn't with me and I was just alone, which you know you could say it's either her mistake or my mistake depending on how you want to see it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so here we should be bullying um, um, them. So here they do get a little bit over aggressive. I am able to pretty much just blast them down. The veil comes in, but I'm able to, to Q during the veil to, uh, of course, um, prevent myself from um, taking, uh, from wasting damage, I guess you could say. And however, again, here we do manage to get the kill onto the pike where we end up dying to the Nila. So um, you can see it's a really action packed game. Like less than three minutes, we have, you know, two kills, three deaths, and two assists. So. Uh, yeah, and it's like 9 total kills in the game, so it's, that's like more than 3 kills per minute. Uh, definitely a very exciting, um, you know, eventful game, to say the least. And uh, here, Set picks up a kill onto the Camille. Now we're back in the lane. Uh, Leona is not, though. However, this time we, of course, are aware of that. So you can, here you can see we're just poking, and, you know, we have already like a full stack with Tempo. We're gonna use the 90 caliber net to come back. Pike hooks us in, but that's not really a problem. Um, we're gonna flash away from the Nila ultimate. The Veil comes in, so I can't really DPS. But now, just DPSing onto the Pike. Pike comes in and tries to trade, which is definitely the right decision because he wasn't getting out anyway. Um, Nila dies to Leona, and here for some reason Lilia is coming in. However, she's not able to hit any of her spells. I'm picking up the fruit. She's walking towards us for some reason, so we're just gonna basically just kill her. Volley Bear shows up as well, and um, is able to uh, pick up the kill onto the Lilia as well and yeah pretty much just goes uh, pretty swimmingly so now I'm 3-3 three, three, and 4 which ironically uh, is not really the best KDA because if you take a look we have a 3-0 oh, and 5 uh, Leona who's been the main benefactor of my devs like every time I die she gets a trade kill more or less so um, she's like you know doing really well as well I mean Leona is 500 gold ahead of Mila uh, and she's, she's she has more gold than everyone on the enemy team so that's kind of gives you a good picture of what's happening here um, anyways, yeah, I'm walking to the wall because I'm panning my camera and not looking where I'm going, but I do finally make it to the fight. Uh, Pike hooks in Volley Bear, which is not really the best idea. Um, I'm just basically max range attacking the Lilia, who is not really able to reach me. Pike is on the way. Um, she finally does actually hit me here. I try to ult her, but unfortunately it doesn't really work. Pike dashes into five peop uh, four people sorry, and he goes like immediately down into the dirt. And um, here, Dragon and Herald are both spawning. Uh, Ari is trying to. I don't, know, I don't really know what she's doing. Maybe trying to get tower plates or something like that. But yeah, so here I'm just going to hit back over down to the bot lane. Quickly clear out this bot lane. Uh, and try to get enough gold for my Storm Razor. I believe I'm very, very close. Just need a couple more minions to get Storm Razor. So I am paying that I'm backing for Storm Razor. So. Uh, but either way, it looks like the Lilia is going for the Herald and and Volley Bear is going what was going for the Dragon, but he decided to go for Ziggs instead. Um, and Lilia gets shoved off the the Herald by Ari, so neither objectives ends up being started. Uh, Lilia and Camille are getting are getting chased by Ari, but Ari doesn't have ult and isn't really able to continue the chase. In the meanwhile, Nila has shoved in the lane, so I'm gonna have to clear the lane before rotating to Dragon. Uh, Lilia is at top and and she is pretty low, so. Dragon shouldn't be contestable by the enemy team. Um, I'm just gonna put some traps anyways. Um, Lilia is actually making her way here um, to contest the dragon for some reason. And uh, Mila goes in, uh, flashes in. I, I don't get hit, so I'm just DPSing her for free in the meanwhile. Pike goes down as well, tries to ult, but doesn't actually. Um, isn't actually able to complete the animation. Even if he was, he wasn't really targeting anyone who was low, so it wouldn't really matter anyway. He would just die regardless. Now, Lilia goes for the sleep on me. I'm gonna have to flash away to get out of range. Uh, honestly, I probably should have just used the net instead of flash, but I kind of just, you know, flash in a panic, which is better than, you know, not flashing and dying there, but the net would have definitely been better, um, you know, used there. So that I could keep my flash, but, you know, it is what it is. We do have hex flash in this game, so uh, we are going to be able to, of course, use our hex flash to our advantage to, uh, you know, of course, um, pretty much just use it when we need, basically. So here tower plates are still up, everybody is at the herald, so I'm just going to farm tower plates instead. Um, honestly, if the enemy team gets herald, and you know, you look at my wave here, I have like 
uh, how many fights? Six minions here in the wave, and my minions are destroying the tower as well as myself. So I got every single tower plate at this point here, and it appears that I'm even gonna get the first tower. So here, um, if this kind of situation happens, I honestly think it's not. The Herald loses a lot of its power. Like that whole tower with all of the platings must have given me at least like three to four kills worth of gold. I think. Yeah, I think that was like like three to four kills worth of gold right there. Uh, yeah, so I get an insane amount of gold, and we also get first tower gold for my entire team. And um, the good news for the enemy team is that they did get, I think, like three kills and the herald, so they are still gonna get plates, and they still did get some kills. So overall, that should even things out. Of course, we can't stop the herald from charging. Uh, we're just gonna have to stop it uh, from charging again or from destroying the tower, for that matter. So now that we have uh, finished um, getting the tower and clearing bot lane. Uh, you know, we are just gonna go mid lane instead. Ari is there to catch the wave, but I do have enough for IE, so I back for IE. So I do have a really, really quick um, two two items at uh, at this point. So we are really, really far ahead of basically anybody in the game, uh, and when in prime position to carry. Because as I always mention in my videos, um, if you are Caitlyn and if you're fed, you're not gonna feel the mid game power trap because it's just gonna you know curve out into the late game really smoothly since you are ahead of the curve compared to everybody else so this um, is a kind of a dream situation for for Caitlyn now here I was thinking of rotating mid but I really don't think anything much is going to happen so instead I'm just going to continue pushing bot we don't really have vision of multiple people though so we don't want to push too far we're just going to clear that wave now we can see Nila and Pike uh, over there I'm trying to make my way there because Pike is obviously going in Ziggs and Nila are nearby as well um, I'm popping the ghost running down the pike essentially we do get the pike but that's pretty much all we're gonna get here. I'm gonna ulti the, the Nila, but Ziggs does block the shot for her as he should. So Nila does end up surviving. Volley Bear is tanking the tower for some reason, so he's gonna have to back out. Um, Ziggs is getting flanked by the Ari, but Ari is not quite able to finish off the kill. Um, if I had ult there, I actually would have been able to kill him, so maybe I should not have used ult just now. But, you know, sometimes people just don't block the Caitlyn ult for their team. So now my wave has stacked up in bot since my push just now, so I'm just going to continue on pushing um, the lane. However, we can see Pike coming from mid, and Nila is of course already there, so we're going to rotate mid. Nila is stuck clearing the wave, so if a fight breaks out here, we're going to have a number advantage. Here I get a headshot onto Lily, I'm blasting her into Nyx weak essentially, so she has to run for the hills, uh, flashing out as well. Nila is still busy clearing the wave, so we again have a numbers advantage here. Um, Pike is charging up the hook. Hooks Leona into the wall, not over it, so she is completely fine. And the enemy team in the meantime is actually getting mid lane prior and pushing, um, because we're not quite in position to um, get the push back. So here we're gonna go back to the lane. I get hit by a Ziggs bomb, which does do a decent amount of damage. Of course, we just did a Ziggs video not too long ago. We know how strong Ziggs is. Now I get drowsy and get hit by the Ziggs bomb, so I'm gonna immediately flash out, um, surviving on pretty much one HP at this point. Um, I'm trying to see if I can help with my ult because my ult still does decent amount of damage. So here I spot a uh, relatively low HP Nila. I actually ult her and she actually walks away from her team. So because of that, she actually ends up dying to my ult, which is pretty funny. Um, so we do get a free kill there and we're going to back and start building towards the Magnetic Blaster. So 7, 3 and 6 now definitely better than the 3, 3 and 4 that we had just now. And now uh, we're almost at 10k gold, which is a good amount of gold above anybody else. I'm like at least 2k gold ahead of anybody on the enemy team, so I'm definitely in the in the prime position here. I just don't want to get caught and um, die. So here Lilia is doing the dragon. Now that's not allowed, so I'm just going to go ahead and focus the Lilia. No point focusing the dragon, remember, because um, Lilia is just going to take it. Lilia actually does a lot of damage to me before she dies, and this really just shows why Lilia is such a strong jungle. Uh, we do get the dragon um, here. And we're just going to walk away. Nothing too much we can really do here. There's no wave to farm. I'm just going to get some fruit and restore some health. Um, we're going to basically have to wait for the pike and company to push in the wave before we can really do anything. Uh, which is exactly what we're doing here. So the wave does eventually come. We're going to just clear the wave basically. And we reset, we complete the Magnetic Blaster, which we finally got enough gold for, and now we're on a 3 item power spike, so definitely very, very strong. As I said, the main thing we just need to look out for is to just not die. So, like, you know, Camille flanking, Pike hooks, Lilia sleeps, you know, 
you know, just Nila ulti, whatever the case may be, a lot of things can kill us, or at least put us in a position to get killed. So here we can see Sen and Ari coming in on the flank. So me and Lina are trying to, our best to go in. Volley uh, ends up reaching. I don't know why Ari took so long to reach, despite the fact that she was with Volley just now. But uh, we're just going to destroy the tower here. I'm going to keep on chasing, although it looks like we're not really going to get much because the enemy has the safety of the tower. In fact, Pike gets a kill, uh, but we do get the counter kill onto him. So one for one trade, um, Pike for Ari. Mm, yeah, not really the best trade in the world. But, you know, we'll take the, the return kill instead of just getting one of our teammates, you know, dying. So here we're just going to counter jungle the enemy team. Uh, we pick up the Raptors, Wally Bear takes the red buff. And here I'm pinging down on my way to help the set because of what we want to fight here. I'm really, really strong. You can see here I'm just running down Lilia essentially. Um, she nearly dies just from like three auto attacks. A fourth one would have probably killed. Nila tries to jump in, does hit the ulti, but pretty much ends up going in 1v3. She dies, beats the Camille, and Camille ends up dying as well. Now here I'm trying to ro rotate around the back, but Ziggs damage is, is pretty insane, honestly. And he just hits um, another bomb onto me as I ult. And here I realize that I'm dead because Ziggs uh, hit um, is launching his Mega Inferno Bomb. I think I could have maybe flashed out, but my, you know, my reaction time just wasn't quick enough uh, for that. And um, yeah, so end up three of us do end up dying here. Uh, three for three trade. But uh, I do end up giving over a shutdown to the Ziggs, who is really the main hope of the enemy team. If we take a look at the enemy team, um, the bot lane is obviously feeding. Ziggs is actually honestly doing pretty well. Lilia is actually doing okay as well, and uh, Camille is also doing pretty okay. So it's definitely not a one match at, at all. When you look at my team, you can see that Ari is basically kind of feeding, and Set and Volley are kind of just doing okay. Um, of course, uh, me and Lina are, are doing pretty well, which is the saving grace. So it is definitely still a... You know, pretty even game, I would say. We do have Infernal so up for grabs, um, you know, in this game, and we already have the first two dragons. So the Ocean Dragon will give us Infernal Soul if we do get it, which of course is going to be our next uh, objective. Tira Lilia is going in onto the Volley Bear, um, you know, and she's basically getting caught. I'm gonna just ult her, she's going to die. Uh, Zix is not able to block in time. And now Ziggs is in trouble as well, gets caught by Leona, and we do end up getting the pick um, onto the Ziggs as well. So now two of them are dead. Uh, unfortunately, Dragon is not really up yet. We could have honestly did Baron if our team was coordinated, and it looks like we are actually trying to do Baron here. So we are pinging for Baron, Set is tanking up the Baron while uh, um, me and uh, rather I'm DPSing it while Leona and Set are basically tanking the Baron. Volley Baron makes his way over. We have been spotted by the enemy teams and they do know that this is happening. However, Pike gets zoned away by Ari and we are able to secure the Baron without any issue. And now we are apparently on the hunt for kills. So here I'm just going to do the productive thing which is to push in mid lane. Nila nearly gets caught by, by Volley. Leona goes in onto Nila a tad too early because our wave hasn't re re yet uh, reached the tower and she does end up getting executed by Pike, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm, I have to be really careful. I'm trying to just get some damage down but honestly it's probably just not worth the trouble because um, yeah, I'm probably putting myself at more risk instead. So here we're going to back, we complete our Maul Reminder which gives us 100% crit. We also have a Stasis which is going to help us against Camille ulti especially. But also a Ziggs ulti or a Nila ulti or just getting hooked by Pike, you know, that's definitely going to save us. Uh, and Lilia sleep as well, like if the sleep is getting channeled, we could of course just, just um, you know, pop it. So here is the Infernal Soul uh, for us if we can get it. So here I'm just DPSing whoever I can. I, unfortunately I'm getting completely zoned off by Camille, I, I pop the Stasis. But unfortunately, my team just somehow ignores the dragon and instead just, uh, you know, basically they they uh, end up getting the dragon stolen. However, it matters not, I believe, because we should be able to uh, maybe end the game here. Not quite sure. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's see. We're going to try to end the game. Uh, everyone's dead except for Pike. Only Pike remains. We just don't have to get hooked by him like that. And then we can just go for the tower. Pike goes in on me. Unfortunately, he is able to basically just one-shot me here, so... Uh, without Miran, I don't think my team can end. If I was still here and Pike didn't kill me, I believe we end, actually end the game here. Uh, but because I end up dying, um, yeah, Volley Bear dies as well, and now Leona has to run for the hills. Um, Leona should have gone to top and taken that top tower, because with the Baron buff and like maybe one to two auto attacks, that top top tower would have definitely died. But instead, 
uh, we get the tier 2 bot tower which is a lot less valuable because getting a top in hit would be pretty huge because super minion waves would give us insane amounts of pressure so not really the best macro decision here um, but yeah so anyways I'm going to get the GA because I really want that uh, you know that revive and also armor is pretty useful in this game of course Maw is also going to be a really good pickup if I choose to go for that which I'm not but Maw would have also been really good here because we have of course Lilia and Ziggs. Now Lilia is kind of feeding but Lilia still does insane damage as a champion and she's like basically just like less than 1k gold behind Ziggs so she definitely is going to hurt as well. She has 3 full items, Ziggs has 3 full items as well. You know these people are going to hurt so Maw would have been you know pretty alright as well. In fact it's arguably better considering Ziggs has been our main problem this entire time. So probably shouldn't be going for GA here, probably should be going for Maw. Now Elder and Baron are both going to be spawning momentarily so we are trying to just set up the area for Elder. Now Volley Bear and Set are kind of on the wrong side of the map. <laughs> um, here we get engaged upon my Lilia, I try to flash away and um, yeah I nearly die here but we end up finishing off Pike Ice Stasis. Leona is able to out Lilia and I'm able to actually finish off the kill there. I honestly cannot believe that I did not die there uh, but I end up dying to the, to the uh, Mega Inferno Bomb anyway. Um, which, yeah, this time there was no escape because I didn't actually have flash this time, so yeah, no real escape for me. So yeah, Zix again gets gets the kill onto me and I think probably gets another shutdown, which, yeah, it's pretty annoying. But my team is going all the way in. Uh, Leona is running for her life for a long time, uh, which baits the, the Nila in long enough for her to almost die, but Ari just realizes she can't actually finish the kill. Volibear is getting... Um, Honestly, getting run down by Camille, who does true damage. So, uh, Camille is chasing him down, misses the hookshot wall dive, but Volley Bear is gonna die anyway. Nope, he is not gonna die anyway. Um, Ari now is going in onto the Ziggs. Doesn't actually charm him, instead, gets hooked by Pike and finished off by Lilia. Uh, maybe she didn't have the charm cooldown, but at this point, I revive and Elder Dragon again is still up. Three of the enemies are up, the two carries as well as the Lilia, so this is pretty scary. Uh, Pike is also up as well actually, so basically four enemies are up, it's a 4v2 at the moment. So this it looks pretty dicey. Um, I'm not sure if Volley Bear can get a steal, I'm just in the general vicinity to see if I can you know, help out with anything. I, I have a ward so I'm going to ward over the wall. Pike tries to hook someone in but no one's really there. Now it's up to Volley to really go in, he goes in a tad too early in my opinion. Enemy team gets the Elder Dragon unfortunately so I'm going to have to kind of run. Um, I'm going to flash away. And um, yeah, it doesn't really look good uh, for us because Elder Dragon, of course, is really difficult to fight against. Um, however, Caitlyn does have a lot of range, so if you don't get caught, you can actually still fight the Elder Dragon team as a Caitlyn, uh, just because of the, the insane range that you have. But I definitely wouldn't suggest looking for a fight, but if you get caught in a fight, I think Caitlyn is probably one of the best ADCs to deal with Elder because you don't have to go melee range like like Kai'Sa or, or Vayne, uh, you know, things like that. So yeah. So here the next logical step for the enemy team is to go for Baron, which is why we're basically around the Baron area to try to see if they, you know, make some uncoordinated effort to, to do the Baron and can maybe catch them out. Speaking of which, Lilia is at the Baron by herself and she does end up dying, which is exactly what we're looking for. The Elder Dragon does actually end up killing me, so I do a revive from my GA. Camille tries to ult me, but here's where the stasis comes in. I block all of the ult damage and I actually survive. And now Ziggs and Pike are the only two left, and again we're gonna try to see if we can And Pike tries to go in on me again, this time I'm gonna flash out of the way. Um, if he didn't have his uh, Edge of Night here, he, he obviously dies to my ulti, but he did have Edge of Night there. So here we're just gonna try the be our best to end the game. Um, Ziggs needs to focus the minions, which he does, so he's not focusing me, and we are able to end the game here. So we'll leave you guys with the stats as usual, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and goodbye.